What impressed us the most was his invisible edit course. Rift managed to create an entire edit course that can't be seen. I mean, who could do this course? Like, I know I couldn't. Bunch of crunch army, where you at? What's going on guys, it's your motivation guy. Hey, back to another video, man. I'm so excited because today, we're gonna be comparing two of the most legendary editors out there. Rift and Raider 464. So these guys are mind blowing when it comes to editing. I mean, easily like the best in the world. With that being said, you know, we always see people wondering who's actually better. So let's find out today. We're gonna analyze them through five rounds, each focus on the different aspect of editing. And by the end, whoever wins the most rounds will be crowned the winner. This is going to be a crazy one. Do not go anywhere, bro. But make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Then let me know in the comments who you think will win this matchup. All right, without further ado, bunch of crunch army. <laughs> it's time to sit back, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy. What is that, y'all? It's that bunch of crunch. And let's get this going. So for round one, we're looking at editing speed. All right, who's got the fastest finger? Riff, Raider, or are these guys pretty much both playing at max speed? Well, starting with Riff, his content speaks for itself, right? This guy is a speed demon when it comes to editing. Like these clips you're watching aren't even sped up. It looks that way and it seems inhuman, but that's just how Rift is. He's capable of chaining like 20 edits and resets of all the different pieces in a row. Rift is so darn fast. Yes, I just said darn. Actually, my second favorite word. Everybody thought he was another Serpent AU using macros. But with multiple hand cam videos and extensive editing knowledge, look, as far as we can tell, he's entirely legit. All right, so what kind of metrics should we be using here? Well, Rift has uploaded a few videos that show his editing speed records, and from what we've seen, his record is something like 27 edits in three seconds. Yo, that is crazy. What? How is that even possible? This comes out to nine edits per second. Oh my goodness, can Raider even keep up? Well, Raider is a well-known master of editing. Speed is his middle name, and everyone who starts watching his videos immediately thinks they're fake until so they keep watching and realize that he simply lives and breathes editing. In fact, Raider has been the go-to for many of us like trying to improve our editing skills because of all his creative maps and educational content. It's beyond evident that he knows his stuff. However, is he as fast as Rift? That's the question. And, uh, you know, we look for a similar example to compare his top editing speed to Rift. And the max speed we found was around eight edits per second. So it seems that Rift has Raider beat slightly in the speed department. Now, it could be just, you know, because Raider doesn't focus on speed or the specific setups that allow for max speed. But with the evidence available, we'd be silly not to give it to Rift. So the score is now one to zero for Rift. All right, so before we move on, just a reminder that if you wanna become a faster editor, right, our coaches can teach you the secrets, guys. Check them out in the link below. All right, moving on to round two. This one's all about accuracy. How many mistakes do Raider and Riff make? Or do they make mistakes at all? Of course, you know, they edit their videos down to their best moments, but let's try to analyze this anyways. Starting with Rift, here's a video of him playing Zone Wars back in August, and really, mistakes are far and few between. Here, and I mean like right here, he messed up his ramp reversal, but he still corrects almost immediately, so you can just barely even catch it. Then it takes over a minute before we see another mistake, and this time again, another missed ramp edit, but for the rest of the video, he's pretty much flawless. So, looking at another video, yes, we see some flubs here and there, like on the top right wall edit, but then he continues to be mistake free for the rest of the video. Still, from what we can tell, all right, ramp edits and edit timing are what Riff struggles with the most. Still, not as much as we struggled looking for those mistakes. <laughs> Overall, Rift's editing accuracy seems to be somewhere in the 95% plus range, maybe even higher. So, how does Raider compare then? Well, I think this is where Raider's slower editing speed actually has an advantage. Even in real game examples, like playing creative fills or battle royale, we, you know, we barely spotted any mess ups at all. Yes, every now and then, you know, they do occur, but for the most part, Raider is incredibly consistent. He prefers to take a slower approach and be more methodical about each edit, which is probably a part of his overall strategy to increase editing accuracy so overall it's another pretty close one guys but in contrast to Rift's speediness <laughs> raiders got the more accurate edits he messes up less often from what we can tell and so he's taking this round the score is now tied one to one up next is round three style and we don't just mean fast or smooth no 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 we're looking at overall creativity and any tricks they use and what kind of flashy techniques really stand out 
So starting off, Rift is all about that flash, man. His building and editing style is super quick, no real smoothness. But to reiterate, he does go overboard sometimes. Still, I think it's something that you want when you're talking about style. It's unique, it's fun to watch, and really it just entertains the heck out of us. All right, speaking of specifics, Rift incorporates a ton of glitches and tricks that make his content pop out significantly. And while he didn't invent these tricks, guys, he definitely popularized the heck out of them. First, one being the floating edit. Rift can edit and reset a piece so quickly that players will literally float over the spot he's opening. He's actually gone into real games and done this to other players. And those reactions are always hilarious to see. Rift also made the invisible edit famous, a glitch where you edit so fast, like at the speed of light. Then the game breaks and turns the build invisible. And again, with this one, he's gone into games and done some pretty exciting stuff. So Rift definitely gets some style points with that one. However, Raider's got a unique style of his own. All right, so when it comes to the whole fast versus smooth debate, Raider does exhibit some smooth movements, especially when it comes to building and holding specific edits. But in terms of overall speed, yo, he is quick. <laughs> he is still too quick to be considered smooth. So his style sits somewhat in the middle, which he calls robotic. And you know what? <laughs> that sounds right to me. But when it comes to flashy tricks, Raider seems to be a few steps behind. From what we've seen, he tends to focus more on, you know, practical techniques. Not saying that's bad or anything like that, but for this category, flashiness and creativity are essential. You know, we want stuff to entertain us, right? And, and make us just say, wow, like that was dope, which Raider certainly has. We're not saying he doesn't, but I, I don't know, like Rift has more of a spark and a tendency to really show off. And I know Raider can too, but we just don't see that as often. So this one's tough to decide. On the one hand, you know, Raider's capable of doing some crazy things, but Rift has this uniqueness that just really stands out. And, you know, at least when it comes to style. So Rift is taking this category home with that. The score is back in Rift's favor at two to one. Now these two wouldn't be creative warriors if they weren't also excellent fighters. So for round four, we're looking at who utilizes the editing prowess better in 1v1s. First, Rift's flashy playstyle does carry over to his 1v1s, like he's always busting out these ridiculous moves and chain edits when in creative fights, and yeah, it works. He gets kills and looks dope while doing it, but at times, all these edits seem somewhat excessive, right? Like, I'm not sure if he's doing it just for content or not, but there seems to be a tiny lack of efficiency, as if some of the edits and builds that he does are pointless in terms of winning the 1v1. Raider seems to be the polar opposite. Like, in most of his 1v1s, he appears to take efficiency pretty seriously anytime he spots a moment where he can just end the fight he takes it peace control seems to be a larger part of his repertoire which is more indicative of how br pros play raider just isn't the type to crank you know through 10 triple edits for no reason he'll only do what's needed he'll take height and he'll go for the kill nothing pointless and nothing wasted so who's better this was a category about efficiency and how to utilize edits so in that sense we think raider is a couple of notches above rip so he's winning this one and the score is tied again at two to two man this is really getting interesting here and with the scores tied it's time for the final round now, we actually couldn't think of a good category here, so we decided on a bit of a bonus round. So we're gonna go through Rip and Raiders channels and pick one final impressive display of editing. Let's see who can close this one out. You guys ready? Here we go. For Rift, all right, what impressed us the most was his invisible edit course. Using the same invisible build trick, Rift managed to create an entire edit course that can't be seen. Of course, he played it too, and I can't even begin to imagine like how he did it. I guess it only goes to show how crucial muscle memory is when it comes to editing. Rift knows precisely where to place and keep moving his mouse. He knows when to time his click and when to press those edit keys. And that's all from thousands upon thousands of edits he's done. I mean, who could do this course? Like, I know I couldn't and it goes to show how extraordinary Rift really really is. As for Raider, okay, what we immediately noticed was his ability to play on all types of inputs. Obviously, he's one of the best out there on his primary input, keyboard and mouse, but he can also edit with the controller. Yeah, I guess on a lower level, but it's still pretty darn good. And yes, his editing speed transcends needing a PC, and it can even be done on console, which is crazy because PS4 and Xbox have just way more input delay, making it all the more impressive to see. And it turns out that Raider also knows how to use a controller keyboard hybrid known as the Azeron. I mean, what is that thing? <laughs> Some sort of claw device? Now look, taking the time to learn and use all these different inputs really says how much Raider cares about his craft. To us, it feels like he wants to experience all the different perspectives Fortnite players have on these inputs, which I really respect, to say the least. And even on a controller, the device Raider's worst on playing on, he's still editing at a level most of us can only dream of. 
That's just not fair. So it's just nuts just to see how easily he could really transition between these inputs and still release content that just wows us. All right, guys, so this is a toughie, probably the toughest between all the choices we've had to make. Ultimately, though, hmm, based on what we saw, we're going to give this one to Rift. Seeing him run through that invisible build course was just beyond incredible. Like, I'm sorry. That was, I had, like, yeah, we had we had to give it to him. It was just honestly a pure display of just edit mastery. It was so entertaining, and, you know, we haven't really seen anything like it before. Okay, so, and with that said, our final score is 3-2 to two for Ripped, which means that Rip is the winner of this matchup. All right, do you guys agree? Let us know in the comments below what you think, and make sure to check out Ripped and Raider 464's channels if they impressed you. All right, guys, bunch of crunch army where you at thanks so much for watching it's your motivation guy once again your friend the one and only keith allen hope you guys found this video entertaining if you did leave a like make sure you sub for more videos man and we got so much great stuff coming up keep eating that bunch of crunch and let's get this going